Hello, I'm Jeff. Do you like drawing and painting? I do. Maybe you like building things from Lego or making models. Maybe you like writing stories or even writing songs and music. But doing creative things, artistic things, it can be great fun. I think one of the reasons that we are so creative and why we're so artistic is because God created us. And the Bible says that we are made in his image. We're made like him, created to be creative like him. Now, sometimes we think that our pictures and our works of art aren't very good. And uh, sometimes to make something really special can take a really long time. And some, some people spend a lot of time making things and drawing things and uh, their work is to be artists. And when an artist has practiced and has tried over and over again and done lots of things, they might make something really, really special and that would be called a masterpiece. So, when you start off in life, you're small, aren't you? And you grow. Your body grows, but uh, as you grow as well, you, you grow in what the things you understand and your knowledge. You grow in lots of different ways. So you ask lots of questions, and so you learn things and you know more facts, and you practice things and can get better and better at the things that you practice. You also have experiences and you learn from those experiences what different things feel like, what's good, what works and what doesn't. So lots of times as well, we can make mistakes, but that's not always a bad thing because we can learn from our mistakes as well. So another thing that grows as you are, growing up is your character. That's a bit like saying that the person you are inside grows too. So that will be the way you think, how you think and what you believe, and sort of who you are as a person, the things that you find funny and your sense of humour and things like that. And actually your character is shown in how you speak and what you think about yourself and things like your sense of humour and also for how you love others and how you care for them and in lots of other ways as well. It's good to see your character grow and to see the person that God has made you to be coming out. Now sometimes you can look at a work of art that someone's making and you can see the things that are wrong with it because it's not finished. It's just a work in progress. This needs a lot of work. This does, doesn't it? Oh, let's keep going at it. But yeah, it's because it's not finished. And sometimes, you know, we can think badly about ourselves. Maybe we can see the mistakes that we've made and we can see things that we think are wrong with us and that's all that we can see. But remember, you are still growing and you are practicing and you are still changing. And I want to encourage you today and say that you are God's masterpiece. And it's not just me that says that, okay? In the Bible, it says that we're God's work of art, special work of art. It says in Ephesians chapter two, verse 10, it says, for we are God's masterpiece. He created us anew in Christ Jesus, so that we can do the good things that he planned for us long ago. I told you it takes time and practice to make a masterpiece, and that's just the same for us during our lives. So don't worry if you have questions and you don't know all the answers. God, the artist, is still working on his masterpiece in you. And if you feel weak or worried, oh, that's okay too, because God is able to model his strength in you and build it up in you to be his masterpiece. And honestly, if things feel messy, don't worry about that. 
because God is able to show how amazing his love is through you. I'm going to say a prayer for us all. And you can make it your own prayer by saying Amen at the end if you want to. Okay. Heavenly Father, I thank you for all our children and young people and all the people within our church. And I thank you that you say about us that you call us your masterpiece, a special work of art, that we can do the good things that you have planned for us long ago. For anybody who's worried, for anybody who has questions, for, for anybody who needs to know that their mistakes aren't too much, Lord, I pray that you would help them today, that you would show them how wonderful you are in them and how wonderful they are because they are your masterpiece. Amen. Hmm. Now then, just do a bit more work here. And I hope you enjoy making pictures or models or writing stories this week. I'd love to see some of them. So maybe ask a grown-up to take a picture of your work and send it into church. It could be a masterpiece. Okay, bye.